We're here with Mr. Keith Morrison, CEO and Director of North American Nickel, as well as Chief Geologist Dr. Peter Lightfoot. Welcome. Nickel is one of the world's most important metal markets at over $20 billion in annual trade. How has North American Nickel positioned itself to take advantage of this growing demand? In North American Nickel is a company dedicated uh, to nickel sulfide exploration and importantly to class one nickel, which is high quality nickel used in stainless steel, uh, aerospace, and importantly going forward in lithium ion batteries involved in the electrification of transport. Well, we've acquired assets around the world uh, that we believe are well positioned in low risk jurisdictions, um, favorable tax rates, uh, and most importantly, highly prospective geological packages. Our primary asset is located in Greenland, referred to as the Nitsok project, and it's our ambition to demonstrate that this will become a world-class nickel sulfide camp and a very long-lived asset. So Peter, perhaps you can talk about the importance of being located in both Greenland and in Ontario. How are the locations of these properties beneficial to your success? Well, the project in uh, Greenland, the Minitsok project, uh, comprises a series of rocks referred to as the Norite Belt. They're very extensively mineralized. There are many, many occurrences of nickel sulfide mineralization. Some of the occurrences have very high grades, but most importantly, the quality of the mineralization is very high. It has high nickel tenor. Over the last few years, we've done a lot of work and shown that there are some extensive zones of mineralization. This year, we're going in there and we're actually going to be looking for larger bodies of more continuous mineralization associated with some of the specifically more differentiated intrusions. We also have a property outside of the Sudbury Basin at the northeastern margin called the Post Creek property where we're going to be basically starting to follow up on some of the geological targets there where some of the rocks that are hosts for the Sudbury styles of footwall and offset mineralization are developed so we'll be testing those this year. Just a few days ago on March 1st you announced that you received a hydropower feasibility assessment report. What did this help you identify that's going to be of value moving forward? Our ambition, as I said, was to prove that this is a long-term nickel sulfide camp. You know, we approach the project systematically, not only from an exploration perspective, uh, but from an, a, a total project economic perspective. As such, you know, we advance our understanding of uh, all of our costs, uh, port facilities, tailing facilities, and power is a big component of all of the above, you know, uh, mining tailings uh, and processing. Generally, uh, power will form 30% of your operating cost of the uh, life of the asset. Hydropower tends to be the lowest, most environmentally friendly power solution available. Uh, so it was a very positive uh, advancement for the project to have a positive feasibility number early that allow us to integrate the use of hydroelectric power going forward into the evaluation of the project. So a lot of exciting objectives coming up for North American Nickel in 2018. What should investors be most excited about? Well, the opportunities in, um, in Manitsoc are really good for finding high grade, um, we call it a breccia style of mineralization where there is a network of massive sulfide separated by fragments. This style of mineralization is our target and um, I think it's a really, we know it already exists from the uh, near surface occurrences, we've got to find the root of that and that's the, the objective. And in Sudbury, the objective is really to find the zone of copper-rich mineralization in the foot world that will add value-added nickel and precious metals. Um, Sudbury is a, a great place to be exploring. It has a great, um, a great hi history and legacy of past production. And uh, North American nickel is strategically positioned um, in an area that has very high potential. And finally, for the thousands of investors here at PDAC, as well as those watching at home, why should they invest in North American nickel today? Short-term investors would be interested in you know, the fact that you know, we're fully, fully funding for a drill program. There will be news flow through the rest of the year. I think there's good trading opportunities around that. Uh, Long-term, you know, I think if you believe in uh, the depletion of supply of nickel sulfides and the growth in the markets from EV, uh, stainless steel aerospace, I think it's just a great fundamental commodity to have a long-term exposure to.